I just had to go for a wee and it was very difficult because this suit goes all the way down to my toes. Hello everyone, and welcome to my head and arms. Yeah, since it's Halloween, I thought I would get the green screen out and have a little bit of fun. It only comes around once a year, so why not? And this might be a bit disorientating because I'm literally going to be a floating head and arms throughout the entirety of this video, but it'll work, it'll be fine, it'll be great. So in the past, I've turned myself into a zombie version of the Mona Lisa, and I've also turned myself into Vincent Van Gogh, and I had a lot of fun, it's very creative. I'm not the best at makeup, in fact, I'm awful at makeup, but it doesn't stop us. So today I thought I would turn myself into the screen painting, which is from the Norwegian expressionist artist, Edvard Munch. Hopefully I'm pronouncing his name right. I know I got slagged off a lot in the Vincent van Gogh one because I was pronouncing his name wrong. It's Vincent van Gogh or something like that. But go and goth is acceptable too. <laughs> this green screen suit is driving us mad. Okay, so I think the first step is to make myself bald because the screen doesn't have hair. So I got myself a little bald cap and it's the first time I've ever worn one. So I don't know what this is going to look like. Probably going to look awful. <laughs> you know when you put a condom on your head and blow it up? That's kind of what it looks like. I don't think I'll ever suit being bald. I need to cut this because it's around my ears. The scream actually doesn't have ears, but I don't think I could possibly keep this over my ears because I can't hear a thing. Everything is so echoey. I don't know, I should, oh, maybe I should keep it over my ears. But I need to cut some of this excess off anyway because it's far too big. That's a bit better. I'm going to trim these bits down. Okay, I think that'll do. Oh, what is this? What am I doing today? I've officially lost my mind. In fact, I might cut holes in the ear parts just so I can hear. That's a little bit better. Oh, that's nice. Now, apparently, you use this spirit gum stuff and you glue it to your face. And if you are a professional makeup artist who's watching this video, or even if you're just semi-good at doing makeup, you're gonna be cringing at this video because I suck at it. I think that'll do. There's bits hanging off it and all sorts, but I can't do much about it. Because I keep trimming bits off and then I'm just gonna be left with no bald mask. And the screen doesn't have eyebrows, I don't think. Let me check. No, the screen painting doesn't have eyebrows. But last time I tried to block out my brows and glue them down and stuff, and it didn't work particularly well. I think it was when I did the Mona Lisa one. So, I thought what I would do instead is take a bit of the bald mask and stick it over my eyebrows. And that should be okay, shouldn't it? I just don't want to get any in my eyebrows because it'll pull them all out. I think this was a bad idea. No, this was an awful idea. I don't... I... Oh, should I try and make it work? I feel like it's not going to. No, I don't think that's going to work. I think I'll just paint over my eyebrows and we'll pretend that they don't exist. I also feel very strange today because I'm fully naked and it feels odd to film while you're naked. I would show you the full suit but you can see every swerve and curve and the outline of my penis and I'm just not comfortable with that. I just don't want you to see it. I don't think anyone would want to see it either. Well, there might be an occasional pervert out there, but it's tough luck. So now I think I just need to like paint my face, don't I? I'm obviously going to start off with all white and I'm going to improve on the painting and I'm going to make it a lot more colourful because it's just very, it's, it's just a bit boring, isn't it? I don't feel like this white makeup stuff is particularly pigmented. So if it's not, then I'm just going to put acrylic paint on my face. I don't care. It's not that white, is it? It's all right. Will I get away with it? I might get away with it. Let's just see what it looks like on the bald cap, actually. Ah, I'll go with this. We'll see how it turns out. It should be fine. I've got white setting powder too, and that stuff is crazy. Yeah, obviously that's not going to hide the eyebrows, is it? So I think I'll give the scream some eyebrows. It looks like he's got like a little bit of an eyebrow anyway, so it's okay. It's going to be a little bit different anyway. This is kind of a look, you know. A, do I suit being bald? And B, do I suit just like half a really white face? I think the answer to that is yes, to both. <laughs> The thing is, I know people wear makeup to cover kind of pores and spots and stuff like that, but I find that makeup just highlights them. I can see every single pore on my nose. It's quite terrifying. I 
I could have probably just done with shaving, couldn't I? But never mind. It's where the mouth's gonna go anyway, so it's okay. Yeah, you guys doing anything for Halloween? Are you dressing up? Are you going anywhere? Any parties to attend or anything? Let me know in the comments, especially if you're dressing up. You know, we might have had the same idea. You might be doing this too. I'm running out of white makeup. I might have to do my head with paint. Yeah, apparently I read somewhere as well that the screen paint is getting damaged because people keep breathing on it. So if you ever go visit it, wherever it is, I'm not sure where it is, then you know, keep your breath to yourself because otherwise it won't last long, will it? I think that's happening with several paintings actually because of visitors breathing on them. It's just disintegrating the paintings and they're part of history, we want to keep them. I think paint might be easier for the bald cap. So that's what I'm going to do. The problem with acrylic paint though is that it cracks. So hopefully we won't have those issues today. The good thing about this as well is you don't need to hide the brush strokes or anything like that because obviously it's painting. You want to see the brush strokes. I hope I'm not allergic to this makeup because otherwise that will be a disaster, won't it? Considering I've done a full face. Okay, I think I'm fully covered. Am I fully covered? I am. I'm two different colours, but once I put the powder on, it'll even everything out. It should do. That's how makeup works. I'm just waiting for this paint to dry before I apply powder, but I was just looking at some interesting facts about the screen painting, because I want this video to be educational as well as stupid. And apparently there were four versions of the screen painting, two in paint and two in pastel, and they've been stolen a couple of times as well apparently. And the 1895 pastel version of the artwork sold at Sotheby's in London for a record price of nearly $120 million in 2012. Wow, that is crazy. And this is how how Edvard Munch described his inspiration for the image of the artwork and he said that he was walking along the roads with two friends the sun was setting suddenly the sky turned blood red I paused feeling exhausted and leaned on the fence there was blood and tongues of fire above the blue black jawed and the city I don't know what that means <laughs> my friends walked on and I stood there tram trembling with anxiety and I sensed an infinite scream passing through nature. That is some inspirational stuff right there. We are learning things today. Okay, I think I can powder now. I've also put a cushion on this stool because my ass was going so numb. That was still a bit wet, but that's okay. I don't feel like that did anything, did it? Okay, now the fun part is adding lots of color and that'll be exciting. I think I'll do the mouth area first because then I can work off everything else. And I'm gonna incorporate my beard and mustache into it. It might look a bit strange, but I have a vision for it. And in the end, I think it's gonna look okay. You just have to work with what you've got. Looks like I've got a really long mustache, ooh. And the thing is the screams mouth's wide open so you can see inside, but I don't think I want mine to be like that. I think I want it to be a solid black. So I am taking liberty because I am changing things. I feel like I've made this a bit too wide. I might just call my version the surprise instead of the scream. <laughs> surprise! That's fine. Actually, I, I think that's looking okay. It's not looking too bad. Right, now I want to add lots and lots and lots of colour because that is going to be the fun part. Obviously, I have to avoid green because it'll turn my face invisible. <laughs> Have you ever seen that film on Netflix? I can't, what's the name of it? It's got Jake Gyllenhaal in and it's about art and the painting kind of kills the people by turning it all painterly. I'll put it on the screen, I can't remember the name, but I feel like it's that. Like all the paint's taking over my body and killing us. And the thing is, if you're a regular here, you'll know that I struggle when it comes to stopping. So this, I just don't know when to stop. My full face is gonna be just covered in lines, but I think that'll be for the best.
Okay, I think I might stop because I think I've gotten carried away now. I don't look like the Scream anymore at all. I just started to really enjoy myself and maybe it's a Scream 2.0. Okay, so now that my look is finished through the power of the green screen which is why i've got it here in the first place it's not just a random choice i can finally put myself into the painting and we can see what i look like well i definitely don't think i suit the background i think i'm a little bit out of place but i think it's an improvement i think edvard munch would be pretty pleased with it hopefully he won't be turning in his grave i'm not entirely sure whether he's dead i think he would be but i quite like it here it's nice it feels warm. It's very swirly, so I do feel like I somewhat fit in. There are two weird figures behind us though, and I'm, I'm a bit terrified. I don't know what they're talking about. I think they're plotting to kill us. Help! But I think it's time to leave this painting and see what I look like in other gallery scenarios. I think that'll be quite interesting. Oh, this is quite nice. It's very white, very plain, very minimal. Oh, hello! How are you? I like your glasses, they're very nice. Where'd you get them from? Specsavers, lovely, lovely. Well, do you wanna move along and let someone else see this wonderful masterpiece? You're still staring at us. It's making me very uncomfortable. Well, you're getting your money's worth out of this gallery, aren't you? All right, I don't like it here anymore. You make this feel very uncomfortable, lady. Ah, this is better. This is really nice. This is a lovely space and it's not too crowded. I quite like that. There's only one random guy over there staring. I don't know what he's staring at. It looks like a painting or a print. Quite nice, not as nice as me, but it's all right. It's very quiet in here. I'm a bit bored. I also don't really think I belong. The rest of the artwork seems very minimal and I don't like that. I'm not that kind of painting. Get me out! Ah, oh, this is another intimate scenario. Hello, you are right. You enjoying your day? Why do people sit on benches and stare at paintings for? Do you give a shit about what we feel like? <sighs> have you got any money? Are you gonna buy us? How much have you got? A hundred quid? Don't think so. I'm ten grand. Where are your rich friends at? Bring them over. Well. She can't afford us, so I don't see the point of being here anymore. Take me somewhere fancy. Oh, I think this is a bit too fancy. I'm protected by glass. I like it because no one can touch us, and that's always nice. But it's very quiet, and I'm, I, I just feel very alone. But I do feel protected and precious, because I am expensive. I'm the most expensive painting here. All them other paintings in the background can go f*** themselves. Yeah, they're jealous. They're jealous of us. No, no, I don't want to leave, no. Oh, there's, oh, there's two, two of me, me now. now. Ah. Well, well this, this is, is much, much better. better. Two, two is, is always better than, than one. one. This, this lady, lady looks terrified. terrified. Shall, Shall I scare her? her? Boo! She, she jumped. jumped. You, you didn't, didn't see it, but she jumped. jumped. <sighs> this, this is nice. nice. It's quite I large. large. I like, I like large, large format paintings. In a gallery, I just, I feel like, I feel like the star of the show. And there's two of us. This couldn't get any better. better. It's, it's great, great, isn't it? It's great. great. Well, this is upsetting. They're spoiled for choice now. They're never gonna buy us. There's too many paintings on the wall. This guy doesn't look like he has any money. He's a student. What are you learning at uni? Expressionism. Well, you're looking at expressionism right here. Mm-hmm. Mm. You're wasting your money. I should know I have a master's degree. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of money. It didn't pan out. No. Should you quit? Yes, you should. Find something practical to do with your life. Alright, I think I'm done. That was fun. I'm, I'm getting a bit too carried away. I don't know what this video is. I don't know what my life is anymore. <laughs> but I think that does it for today's video. Hopefully you have enjoyed it. I know I had every intention of turning myself into the screen painting, but I don't think I've done that successfully at all. I just did my own thing, didn't I? I think it was an improvement from the Mona Lisa one though. The Mona Lisa one was... It's quite shocking. But if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see me transform myself into any other famous artworks or paintings, then let me know in the comments below. And also, if you have any really fun ideas for the green screen, then also let me know because I am liking this. It is so much fun. Obviously, it'll come together when I'm editing. Right now, it feels very strange because I'm just sat in front of a piece of green fabric with a weird green suit on with this all over my face. But hopefully it's translated well on film. Anyway, happy Halloween. I hope you have a lovely time, whatever it is you're doing. And I'll see you next week for a brand new video. Bye. 
Oh, you're still here. Hi. Well, I'm going to peel this off and see what happens. See what just the face looks like without the bald cap. Ah, it doesn't look as fun, does it? It doesn't look as interesting at all. At least it didn't get proper stuck to my face. I'm so sweaty. I am so gross. I, I kind of like it though. I might go to work like this. I'll get the sack. <laughs>